Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of representing addition and subtraction problems. This is standard 3.5a in the great state of Texas. We are using number 28 of the 2016 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, and then unpause it. We will look at our answers together. So this is definitely a strange looking problem. We've got some number lines here, and we have basic addition and subtraction problem, but most of us are not used to representing that on number lines. So let's see if we can figure this out together. So there were 25 people in the library. Some left, some people went away, and now there's 13 people left. But how do we represent that? Well, let's see what we have. We've got 25 people. Some went away. We don't know how many that is. And that leaves us with 13. Well, there's a few different ways we can solve this. One way would be to actually see if we can figure out what that missing number is. There's a few different ways we can do that. So let me just put 25 here. And I know that 5 times 5 makes 25. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a little block of 5 by 5. And that's going to represent my 25 people. So if there are only 13 left, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a box here around these 13. These are the people that are still here. And so I'll say they remain. So whoever's left is going to tell me these are the people that went away. Went away. So it looks like I've got 5, 10, 12. So I can double check that. I can make sure I did that correct. 25 minus 12. Let's see, that's going to be no grouping needed. That is going to be 13, so that works. So 12 people went away, but obviously that's not what we're looking for. But that is going to help. Another way I could have solved this is I could have said, well, 13 plus something equals 25, because I could use inverse operation. I can use a fact family. And then maybe I could have counted up from 13 up to 25. But either way, we know our answer is 12. So let's look at our answer selections, F, G, H, and J. So all of them start right here. Well, actually not G. F and J both start at 25. So that's good. G and H don't. So we're going to look at F and J first. So on F here, we have 25, and then it looks like that goes up to, that's 38. So what they do is they have 25, and then you see how the arrow goes to the right. That means we're going to add this 13, which gives us a total of 38. And the problem is, is we're looking for the number of people who left the library. 38 people did not leave the library because only 25 people were in there to begin with. They just took the two numbers and added 25 and 13. And obviously, that is not what we did. So let's take a look at J. So J starts with 25, and you see the arrow moves from 0 up to 25. So that lets you know how many you're starting with. But then it kind of doubles back on itself, and it moves back this way. Look at this arrow. It's going back to the left, and it goes back to the left, and it ends at 13, which is how many people were left. And so what we could do is we can figure out, well, how many people left the library? Well, you can count to see how many ticks this line is, and it's going to be 12. And so this looks like it's going to represent 25, minus 12 to get you to 13. So I'm thinking this is it. Let's see about G. G starts just at 13. And then they add 12, I think that's 12, to get up to 25. So when you get up to 12 to get up to 25, well, that could work, but it doesn't represent this number sense because we what we need to do is we need to start all the way up at 25 and then move back. So that's actually pretty close, but that's not going to show what we need here. And then finally, H just doesn't look like they finished. They just went up to 13 and stopped. The, at least G tried to add that 12 to get back up. So our answer is going to be J.